What is up everybody? This is Michael File Sage checking in here today. And today I decided to make an old school sort of uh, Mycophilia update video as I used to do a lot on the old channel. Uh, so it's not like a big topical video, although it may turn out to be. Um, but the main thing that I want to talk about today is casing. Uh, and particularly casing core lovers. Now I have a special video just dedicated basically to casing called uh, what is a casing layer, right? That I posted a couple months back and that video generally explains a lot about what casing layers are for the most part. Um, but uh, well, as you guys know, I use shoe boxes, right? And one of the big issues with shoe boxes, as I keep saying is that because of the nature of shoe boxes themselves, they allow a lot of fresh air exchange because imagine this, right? They're called shoe boxes for a reason. You put your, you store shoes in here, right? And what is it about shoes? Well, they smell. They are moist because of the sweat that your foot's produced is getting soaked up in there. And if you if you store them like that in a sealed environment, it's going to start rotting, right? So we don't want that. So that's why shoe boxes naturally are made so that it has a lot of fresh air exchange, which makes it good and bad, uh, depending on how you look at it. It's a bit of both. Uh, for those who want to grow mushrooms in them, like me. Uh, I look at it basically as a benefit for a, a lot of species that require a little extra FAE. Uh, it makes it possible for them to be grown in tubs fairly easily unmodified in a shoebox like this. But at the same time, it may make it so that it's not neglectable as you can get with a well dialed in mono tub. Now that's not to say that with the shoe boxes, you can't have neglectable text. They are actually are neglectable text. It's just in my environment, it just never works for me. Just unmodified shoe box on its own like this, not a tub and tub setup or inside a tent or anything, just like this, which is what I like. I can't neglect it because if you see here, we are at 15% uh, relative humidity today, right? Fairly hot as well, getting hotter and hotter. Uh, so 15% relative humidity and it's often down low like that, maybe maximum 30% relative humidity. So it's just uh, an issue, but I don't want to basically invest a space in having a bunch of monotubs to put these guys in because that's sort of the whole point of shoe boxes. I like the form factor. Um, so what do, so I've been thinking about what I should do about it. And this is where the casing layers come in. Now, if you guys remember, um, well, not remember, but if you guys know, right, I grow a lot of different species. For example, this is poo lovers. This right here is Florida grass lovers. And, and these guys are ready to be cased. And with these species, it's good to case them. Basically, you won't have a good uh, flush if you don't case them. They require that extra moisture and uh, protection. The mycelium requires a protection So uh, from the elements. So these guys, it's sort of a given that you need to put a casing layer, right? And these species in particular require a very, very moist casing layer basically muddy conditions. That's how they like it. Very different from core lovers, which of course like moisture, but they don't like things to be muddy necessarily, although they'll still fruit. It's just not necessary for them to be muddy. Um, and also with core lovers, it's hard to do that because most people don't use a casing layer. Maybe maximum they'll use a pseudo casing layer, AKA a top layer at spawn, a top layer of core. Uh, and in my channel, at least, I don't really consider that to be a proper casing layer. Uh, you could check out my uh, what is a casing video, what is a casing layer video, if you want some a little bit of clarification on that. I talk about it a bit in my live streams, but um, basically for what I consider to be a casing layer is something that's pH adjusted, at least in our hobby, something that is pH adjusted and, and is, is not basically just extra substrate on top of the grains. That is not the casing layer. I would also like to add that the function of a casing layer can be different according to species. For example, certain species may require a casing layer not only for the protection it grants them from the environment, but for the microorganisms present in the casing that it requires to fruit. Now, with such species, you cannot pasteurize or sterilize the casing layer as they will simply not fruit without the symbiotic microbes. Now, with other species, a casing layer with certain plants or grasses can greatly benefit fruiting performance. But for the common species that we cultivate in our sphere of mycology, including the ones that you see on this very video, the grass lovers, the pool lovers, and the core lovers, we do not need to worry about that. I use basically Jiffy Mix, right? Jiffy Mix pasteurized. So it's a given with these guys that you use a casing layer, but when it comes to core, core lovers, and this one is, is a natty, right? Which I also will lump in with the core lovers here. Uh, let's call it, um, I don't know. Let's, or maybe we'll call it African grass lovers because they can produce sclerotia-like uh, blobs of mycelium. But uh, with core lovers, 
The last grow that I did with them, I applied a casing layer because I realized, I, I noticed that I could neglect these a lot more. Well, obviously I don't neglect these because they like to be always moist. But for example, I thought if I could apply a casing layer here and keep it super moist, like I do with these guys, but not mist it as much because it's not necessary, then perhaps I could neglect them more. And that was absolutely the case. In addition to that, it's completely eliminated side pins because the surface conditions were so nice with a casing layer on top. And if you would like to learn how I pasteurize my casing layer using the keep warm setting of my Instant Pot, a technique which by the way will also work with pretty much any other electric pressure cooker on the market as they usually all have a keep warm setting, check out my video called All-in-One Instant Pot Guide for Mycology. And if you would like me to dedicate a video on how I prepare my easy and effective casing layer, let me know in the comments. With that nice moist casing layer. So that sort of killed two birds with one stone. Not to say that I was using a liner in the first place because I, it's fairly easy to harvest a shoebox, right? It's not like a big tub that you gotta drag the substrate out of. Um, it's fairly easy. Check out my uh, shoebox harvesting methods video. Did I make one? Anyways, I got a bunch of videos showing how to harvest shoeboxes. And um, oh yeah, check out the uh, should you dunk video. In that video, I talk about how to easily harvest shoe boxes, but basically applying a casing layer um, pretty much got rid of all the bottom and side pins. Uh, it was fantastic and the flush is just fantastic as well. So that's what I've been doing with core lovers is applying proper casing layers, even though they don't need it to fruit, right? Like, a lot of people, including myself included, would just fruit like this. It's almost fully colonized, ready to go to fruiting conditions. So you really don't need to put a casing layer for most people, it's unnecessary. But in my situation, and if you're in a similar, similar situation, it may be worth considering applying a proper casing layer. I would also like to add that if a casing layer for core lovers is also very beneficial if you have issues with blobbing. Uh, it can help limit the amount of blobs you get in certain mutants like PE and apes and uh, ghost, for example. Um, so that's one thing to keep in mind. But again, generally blobs will start to disappear once you get past the first flush in those varieties. It's still not necessary, but it can help. All right, back to the video. Yeah, guys, today is casing day. I am going to be casing all of these guys today and uh, putting them to fruiting conditions. So watch out, lots of new content coming out. And I just uploaded a new video on Patreon called Suitcase Tech. Gives you the updates of what happened when I put a bunch of my grows inside my suitcase for 24 hours. Uh, so very interesting stuff there. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. And I hope you guys have a great day or night. Michael File Sage, checking out for now.